melonic ester synthesis. Carboxylic acids of any desired chain length can be synthesized using melonic ester synthesis. The reason why it is called as melonic ester synthesis is the starting material that we use for the synthesis is a melonic ester. Melonic ester synthesis is a combination of two important reactions. The first reaction is the alkylation happening at the alpha carbon and the second one is the decarboxylation of 3-oxocarboxylic acid. First to begin with the base is going to abstract the alpha hydrogen to create an enolate ion and this enolate ion will act as a nucleophile on the alkyl halide. This would be followed by acid hydrolysis and decarboxylation. In the final product we are going to have two extra carbons than what we see in the case of alkyl halide. These two extra carbons are from the melonic ester. Let's see what are the steps involved in the melonic ester synthesis. First to begin with we are going to abstract the alpha hydrogen. So we do have two hydrogens here. One of these hydrogens will be abstracted using this base and this is going to thrust in the electrons onto carbon. Then in the next step this is going to react with the alkyl halide where the enolate ion is going to make a nucleophilic attack on the electrophilic carbon of the alkyl halide thrusting the electrons onto Br the leaving group thereby forming an alpha substituted melonic ester. So this is alpha substituted melonic ester because you have a substitution on the alpha carbon. In the next step these two ester groups will be hydrolyzed to form a dicarboxylic acid. We know that when ester hydrolysis happens it's going to result in carboxylic acid and also an alcohol right so here ethanol will be released this step will be followed by decarboxylation one of this carboxylic acid will undergo decarboxylation to give the product here in this carboxylic acid we have two extra carbons right and this is coming from melonic ester. You can also take advantage of melonic ester synthesis to prepare a dicarboxylic acid with two substituents. Say for example, once the first substitution uh, happens at the alpha carbon, you can again use a base to abstract the second hydrogen and introduce the second alkyl group. Let's see how this is done. So in the first step, the base is going to go grab one of these hydrogens. Right? Here there are two hydrogens and one of these will be abstracted by this base. This is going to form an enolate ion. And since this is a dicarbonyl compound, it's going to be much easier. And in the next step, this enolate ion will react with alkyl halide to form the alpha substituted melonic ester. Now you can add base again to abstract the second alpha hydrogen. So with this, you're going to abstract this hydrogen, thrust these electrons onto carbon to form the second enolate ion. Now you can react it with exactly the same alkyl halide or a different alkyl halide to get the second substitution on the alpha carbon. And the next step, we are going to do the hydrolysis, acid hydrolysis, which is going to give a dicarboxylic acid. These two ester groups will be hydrolyzed and then final step would be decarboxylation.